All right, today I'll be playing every single GTA game that I can do stunts in all the way back to GTA 3, which came out in 2001. The reason that I'll be starting with GTA 3 is I'm not sure how I would do stunts in 1 and 2 when it looks like this. Like, I'm not sure what I could even do. But it should still be a lot of fun going through all the five games that we have lined up today. And starting off, we have GTA 3. All right, here we have a GTA 3. Now, I won't be playing the remastered versions because I wanted to keep it as original as possible. Because if I head on over here, I believe we have something stored in the garage. Yes, we do, baby. We got the beautiful cheat here, and damn, that this game looks so dull compared to, like, GTA 5. It's insane. But then again, this came out 20 years before. We're gonna see what stunts we can do today. Can we wall ride this? I'm just gonna, like, experiment and see what we can do. We just hit so many people. All right, so wall rides might be out of the question. Can't really do that here. Now, we do also have stunt jumps like this one here. What? Who's this guy? L let me get back in my car. I'm just gonna stunt. Leave me alone. Now, if you're wondering why I keep braking like this, whenever I let go of Accelerate, the car automatically brakes. And that is because I have the frame limiter turned off. Otherwise, it will look very choppy for you guys. Let's see if we can go ahead and land a stunt. I know that there's a bridge glitch in this game. As you can see, there's a train going right up here to my right. Which, if you stand on it as a train comes towards you, you can actually do a pretty fun glitch where you kind of just fly away. Now, I have not played a lot of DTA 3. I do know some parts of the city, but... Yeah, it's been a long time since I played this game. Yeah, is there a jump right here? I think there's a big jump here on the bridge. I'm going on the wrong side of the road. Come on. We have this jump right here. Yes, we're going to send it off this thing. Do it on the side a tiny bit, maybe? Flip it. Ah, oh, we can't actually flip the car too much in this game, I'm afraid. Not really having any luck of landing anything cool here, so we're going to keep on going. Ooh, what about this thing? It's not good. That's not good. I was going to say, that's going to be... That's gonna be the water. <laughs> I wanted to get on top of the dam, but I don't think we can actually jump down here. No, we can't. Damn. Get it, because we're on the dam and I said that. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna try and jump on top of the railroad and then just wait for the train. If I can just jump. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, stop, stop, stop. No. Come on, no. Dude, that was a good jump. Okay, there's probably an easier way to get up there, but we're doing stunts today, so I thought this might be fitting to try. That looks pretty good. Luckily, I can kind of just spawn here over and over again with this car, so... I can't tell if that's good. It is, I think. Yes, okay, we're up here. I'm not sure which way the train is gonna come from. I'm just gonna stand right here. I can hear it. It's... It's on the other side. Can we maybe cross over? Please work, please work, please work, please work. Launch me! Oh, holy oh crap! Dude, I was like, first nothing happened, then we completely flipped out. Unfortunately, though, upside down, so we're just gonna have to get up there again. Oh, stop shooting me, goofy ass run. Should be good. Yeah, nice. Oh, we're grinding. Yo, sick grind. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, are we stuck, though? I think I'm stuck. Train's still coming. Can it still hit me? Literally, just grazed right past me. Okay, we need a new car. I the train coming. I the train coming. Oh my god! <laughs> Land this, please! Oh, we even hit this stunt jump. Double stunt jump. And we landed it. How many spins did I just do? Can somebody count that and put it in the comments? If impossible. I've never seen a car spin that fast. Okay, with that, let's move on to GTA Vice City. Why can't I hang up the phone? I, oh, I want to get in this car. He's just... Thank you. Now I can take the car. We are finally in Vice City. <laughs> the colors are, of course, a lot more vibrant here because we are in beautiful Miami. Now, for this game, I have to have the frame rate capped. Otherwise, you just can't drive cars. Like, it's so choppy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Double. Hey, we two in a row. Come on, let it. Nice one. See, it's straight cheat for, like, invincibility on the car. Let me check. That's, that's invisible. I'm looking for invincible. I don't want the car to break. Oh, now every car is like this. How do I change this? Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, nice. That will spawn a hot ring racer. These are very fast cars in this game. Let's jump over here. That could get me into the airport or just do a cool backflip. <laughs> that was kind of cool. An accidental stunt there. The airport is right here. So I wonder if we can just maybe find a good jump in there or if I can just drive in there. I can't remember. I think I can get in here, right? Yep, there we go, we're in. The okay, first thing I want to try and do is do a barrel roll. It's quite tricky in GTA 3, but I think if we just do this... That should be it. Oh, first try. A bit sloppy, but... Oh, don't roll over. There we go, nice. That should be clean. Nice! No, dude, why do you keep rolling over? <laughs> okay, we'll land on top of this thing. Maybe not with this car, but maybe with a motorbike? Hey, that could be kind of cool. Oh, I will count this as a precision stunt with a car. 
<laughs> totally meant to land that. Oh, sports bike. Yeah, that's my bike. My apologies, but I'll be taking this one. Oh, I'm, no, on top of the roof. No, get back. Don't despawn. <laughs> Just jump, jump on the top. A little backflip, maybe. Dude, why is it so hard to stay on the bike in this game? The grind. Oh, I was gonna try to do a little grind there on the edge. Damn, slid off though. Oh, 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 that was kind of sick. Almost did 180 out. <laughs> so we can do it again. Oh, it's so hard to stick in the ground without falling off. Or even just driving straight and doing a 180 and falling off. Dude. Well, at least we did a cool grind with the bike. <laughs> that was about it. All right, San Andreas, the game that I basically grew up on. I played it so much on the original Xbox. As you can see, I already spawned in the NRG 500 uh, because yeah, I can actually find a mod menu for this. So we can actually spawn in cars and do yeah a bunch of more stuff that we couldn't do in the other games. So should be able to potentially hit some cool stunts in this one. Can I fit through those holes right there? That'd be really cool. I don't think you can go through those though. I don't think the hitbox is that advanced in this game. I think it's just a bit too big to fit in the hole. That's what she said. Maybe up here? Bump up on the roof here? Oh, that could be a cool stunt. Or landing a grind on the way down. Yeah, let's do that. Could also be really difficult, I'm not sure to be honest. Into the grind. Oh, clean way down, but the grind would be sick. Here we go. Oh, same thing again. Just another stair. Come on now. Yes! No, oh, we need to keep spinning. Almost got it. Getting closer. Grind stunts were very popular in San Andreas, if I remember correctly. Ah, I want it to be a bit longer. That's what she. There we go. That has some style to it. I'll take that. I'll take that. That was kind of cool. Alright, I feel like we get to visit the airport in every single game here. Because it's just such an iconic place to land stunt in every single GTA. And I think you could do front flips pretty easy in this too, right? Oh, maybe not. Go back, go back. <laughs> Compared to other games, at least, I feel like. Maybe that's GTA 4, which is coming up next. I want to try a car with nitrous. Okay, we got a Turismo, which also has nitrous, baby. You can't see anything with this on, though. It's really hard. Oh, damn. Yeah, barrels are kind of hard until you get to GTA 4, because the car just kind of stalls uh, when you're upside down. Ooh, we could do some cool stuff here, maybe. Let's get down here with the car. <laughs> see a billboard up here. We could try and jump through the gap. Oh, 5M style, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder if we can land on that billboard maybe with a bike. First to this one though. I want that side flip, man. Absolutely perfect. Stuck the landing. So nice, man. Wonder if I can position up on top of these things. Oh, almost first try. I'm not sure if I can stay up there though, but I really want to try. This might be better with like the Sanchez or something. Fight to that one. Oh, I just want to see what happens when I actually get up there, you know, if I can stay up there. Maybe I'll try that bike. It looks interesting. Here we go. Nope, that, this one did not want to bump. <laughs> I think I prefer this one. <laughs> Felt way better. Oh, don't block me. Stay up there. Oh, we slid off. I think I can get this. Oh, look at the camber on this guy. Damn. <laughs> what will happen now? Oh, I'm doing a nose wheelie. We're going. We're going. We're flying. What is happening? Oh, there we go. I see everybody getting stuck in this car. Okay. What will happen this time? Oh, it's going to blow up. No, don't get in it. Get out. All right, it's not my problem. Does that count? I mean, I'm up there. <laughs> kind of. Same thing again. I think this might be as good as it's gonna get. I can't seem to get on top, man. I think I spent a bit too much time on that spot. Um, <laughs> can't really get it cleaner than that, though. Ooh, can we jump through these windows? This area looks really cool. Can we go through these? Oh, we can. Okay. And I should be able to... Yes, we can make that jump for sure. Off of this jump through a window. First try. No, we got stuck in it. Also, obviously, I turned off that I can't fall off my bike just because, yeah, I want to mess around and, <laughs> yeah, try and find some fun spots like this without dying all over again. Yes. No, dude. We are struggling with this one. Is that it? That's it, baby. Nice. Oh, what is happening here? Dude, <laughs> still landed in a freaking cop chase. For sure, something I have not done in GTA San Andreas before. Alright, it's GTA 4 time, and we are at one of my favorite spots in this game, which is the swing glitch. I spent so much time here when I was younger, just backing into this thing. And if you don't know what will happen, just give me a few seconds here. Oh, there we go, we got launched. Oh, double bump as well. Land this. 
Oh, <laughs> pretty clean too. You can always make it over here to the park. That was sick. Yeah, I think there's a couple of those on the map, but this one is like the most popular one. And yeah, I mean, we cannot add a cool stunt from that on the first try. I do want to hit it one more time though. Just because yeah, it's so much fun. I think we could fly even further. Let's see. Well, that was not further at all. <laughs> oh, nice one. Oh, into the building. Didn't send me that far then. You still land that? Yep, that's two for two for the landings. Nice. I don't think there's a trading glitch in this one like there was in uh, GTA 3. See, I kind of want to get off this thing. Now, comparing GTA 4's physics to GTA 5, the cars are just way more, like, slippery or smooth, I guess you could say, with, like, how they handle. Like, it feels like every car has, like, super soft uh, suspension, which is kind of nice sometimes. I think you can also drift a lot easier in this game compared to GTA 5. And same thing with the motorbikes. They're actually kind of hard to control. As you can see, if I turn too steep, we just keep on sliding and sliding, which does make bike stunts a bit harder. I mean, specifically, this bike is so fast. I guess we'll just go to the airport as well, uh, just to compare the physics. But first, let me hit this jump into the water. Now, these jumps right here, I can't tell you how many times I have hit, uh, both with bikes and cars. I think it's a lot easier to do multiple flips in this game compared to, well, all details pretty much. I think we can do a double backflip with like this speed right here. Let me try. Oh, we can do a very fast one. I wonder if we can do precision stunts from anywhere on top of these things. There's a common jump spot in GTA 5 where you land on top of these towers right here at the airport. This would be very cool if I can actually get some traction with the bike. It kind of feels like you have moon gravity with the bike sometimes. Oh, I want to get up there so bad. This one could be a bit too difficult for this video maybe, but Give it a couple jumps. I'm gonna try to get up there though. It's not going high enough. Another thing I love about this game is how the car flips in midair. It just spins so fast. What is this giant pile up here? Look at all these cars. What the hell? Yeah, hitting these yellow things makes the car flip so fast in this game. And it just doesn't stop. And I missed it. <laughs> God damn it. I got some air there. There we go. That's how barrels should work. And we're on the roof. Same as San Andreas and Vice City. Yeah, I think they look so clean in this game. Probably even cleaner than uh, GTA 5, to be honest. Like, look at that. That was so nice. And I also have this spot over here. Might look like I'm just gonna jump out into the water. I have no idea what the correct speed is for this jump. But you can actually land on a small platform out in the ocean. Let's see. Uh, I don't think we're going fast enough. Where are we? Oh, dude, absolutely perfect. Catch us. Nice, we got it. Uh, no, I'm not really sure how to go back though. That's the, that's the issue about this spot. Oh, it's so hard to control the bike in midair in this game. Oh, we're getting closer. Aren't there DLC bikes in this game which are faster? I don't think I have those though, so. Also one of my favorite spots in this game, the skate park. Because you can flip the bike so fast in this game, like I said. It is so nice to do like transfers and stuff in this game. Even though I'm gonna fly out of it right now. <laughs> Maybe I should use the Sanchez for this, I'm not sure. Get that. Nice. Man, I can't seem to find a way to get up there. I'll be sitting here for like 30 minutes, trying to get the speed, but I just can't. So for now, I give up on this stunt, but I might come back in the future. And then we are in current times, or I mean, this game still came out 10 years ago, but it is still current, so we, yeah, we're just waiting for GTA 6 by now. And of course, what changed something forever in this game was the ability to glide with a motorbike, as well as controlling the car in mid-air by just holding handbrake, which was of course not possible in the past. And that is why we have been able to do stunts in this game for the past 10 years. And it kind of makes sense that it should be this stunt that I give up on in GTA 4. That is also possible in GTA 5, which is of course gliding from this over to the tower right over there. All the way over here, obviously a lot longer than the one in GTA 4 because we have gliding. Yeah, I'm very pumped for the future. I hope that they nail the physics um, in GTA 6, of course. They could just keep the ones from GTA 5 to be honest and I'll be happy <laughs> because yeah, then we can do a lot of stunts. I feel like we will most likely not have gliding unfortunately in GTA 6, but obviously nothing is confirmed. But it was a glitch which they actually kept in the game. Since we asked them nicely to <laughs> yeah, keep it. But let's see if we can land this here. Oh, it's a bit too short. I just thought that I would do this one because yeah, I think I think you all know how stunting works in GTA 5 by now. But I just wanted to finish it off with this one. God damn it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Will they keep gliding for GTA 6? I feel like they might go back to like GTA 4 type physics. But yeah, we'll see. Obviously now they know how popular stunting is and whatnot. So they might like keep that in mind a little bit. Oh, my face cam died. Yeah, I've been filming for close to four hours. So it was about time that it died, I guess. All right, I'm back. It is currently the next day in the video. I just wanted to finish this video with the face cam actually being on. So 
That is why one thing left to do today for this video and that is to land this little stunt, which for some reason I'm struggling with. I've hit it so many times. I feel like I was doing better with the stunts in like San Andreas. They were actually a lot of fun. But maybe right here we can get some second day luck. Uh, nope. Just a little landing, please. All I'm looking for here. <laughs> Cannot get much cleaner than that. Perfectly caught myself on the railing. And that was it. I think we want two and a half minutes today. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video trying some other games as well. I'll be doing that more in the future this year. Click over here to check out another video and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.